Joel Morales, and I'm facing the shoot class. And um, today I'm going to talk to you guys uh, about the elements of boxing. First, uh, I'm going to start off with Kathleen as a question. How many of you guys have a favorite football team? You guys have a favorite boxer. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, the point of that was to show that everyone thinks or everyone has significantly less favorite boxers than they do in sports, which I'm guessing it's because you guys don't have violence or whatever. But I'll uh, show you what boxers go through on you know, their daily lives and uh, that's a picture of Muhammad Ali. Alright. This is uh, my overview. I'm gonna talk about the physical strength the mental strength and the emotional strength needed to be a boxer. Because it takes more than just being the physical part, which everyone thinks about, you know, just punching people in the face or anything like that. You know, you need to have your mental quickness and you need to have a strong resolve. So uh, I'm going to talk to you guys. And this is a picture of Mike Tyson, the only way to the cycle. All right. The physical strength, um, obviously boxers have to go through a lot of training, you know, weightlifting, you have to do aerobic, anaerobic, which the difference is aerobic uses oxygen, you know, to fuel your body, like cardio and running and stuff like that. And anaerobic is more like your inner metabolism, giving yourself energy, stuff without, you know, air pretty much. So basically you have to train that so your body can handle long rounds in the rim. Because they go like twelve rounds, three minutes each, with a minute break and you know, the gym. So their body has to be strong enough to, you know, endure the long rounds and also keep fighting for food and for the win. You know, and there's also, they practice with sparring, they use the punching bag, and they have to actually go on diets, which is, it's pretty weird for boxers, I know. But boxers, instead of having really big muscle mass, they still have really high muscle mass, they just have really low fat percentage. So instead of being really buff and big, they're, they're more cut and small. So their muscles are a lot stronger and their body percentage is much less. And this picture of Rocky, you know, training up the stairs in Philadelphia. I've actually been there, so that's cool. This is a video. Um, can I just go to the camera? Yeah, but uh, that was the curve world champion, Manny Pacquiao. I'm actually a run fan. But uh, yeah, that's how he trains. My biggest idol, Bruce Lee, he said, an intelligent mind is one which is constantly learning. Never concluded. Style, <coughs> style and patterns have come to a conclusion. Therefore, they have ceased to be intelligent. Which is basically saying, you know, if you stop learning, then that's basically where you stop being smart. Because the only smart thing is to keep going and to form more knowledge on yourself. That's from Bruce Lee. Uh, I'm also going to give you two, got two more quotes. This is from Muhammad Ali. To be a great champion, you must believe you're a great champion. And if you're not, then pretend that you are. He's saying, you know, basically, your mind is basically one of the strongest weapons. So if you think you are something, or you think you do something, then it totally can be done. And uh, my other, my third favorite, boxer is uh, Rocky Marciano. So uh, it says, to win take complete commitment of mind and body. When you can't make that commitment, they don't call you a champion. Anymore. So basically, it has to do a lot with your mind, you know, like, you have to keep on thinking, you know, it's more of a mental game too, because they go in and they study their opponent and their style, or they try to beat them, you know? So it's also like a game of chess, except for you're in the ring and you're getting punched in the face. <laughs> All right, and the last, my last point is uh, emotional strength. And this is Manny Pacquiao from the um, It's also called strength part, you know. A lot of fighters have to have this because even if you're really strong or you're really smart in the ring, you know, you get really punched around and tired, fatigued, and the only difference is those fighters don't give up. So as long as you make that final stretch and keep going, then you might be able to actually win, even if you're not as strong as the other person. You know? Sometimes you just have to believe in yourself and have that inner resolve that is unbreakable, you know?
so you guys can get to the goal. And um, in conclusion, I'd say boxers will do a lot of a man, intense physical training, so the body have to be like in top shape. They can't even stop, you know, a single day without training before their fight. After their fight, they let you know, go a little bit. That's the story. And um, they also use their mind a lot. Like it's also stress on the mind, you know, like thinking. You have to think a certain way to learn certain techniques. You have to be able to understand or what you're doing, or what you're doing wrong, and how to fix it. And of course, emotional strength. If you have an unbreakable resolve, then that's the only thing that could probably put you ahead if you don't have strength or smile set, you know? So I'm gonna end with an actual video. If you combine all these things, what you might be able to get. Formless like water, you know, water could bend into anything pretty much. So if you put water into a cup, it becomes a cup. If you put water into a bottle, it becomes a bottle. If you put water into a teapot, it becomes a teapot. Water could flow and it could crash. So be water, my friends. <laughs> <laughs>